Now I'm going up here through this alley and I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to show you what the Section 8. Look, they done put the people out at Section 8. It is crazy. These people around here with Section 8 live like damn animals. One of the conditions was that they had to clean up. Keep the yards cleaned up. Pick the trash up in the yards. They getting the rent paid, the water, the lights, the gas, everything paid. But yet, this is how they live. Section 8. Look at it. Section 8. Look, them bust somebody gray, big colored TV. Oh, Lord. Section 8. Section 8. Look at it. This is terrible. Somebody need to come and get this stuff up. People lost everything. Y'all steal most stuff from poor people. If they owe you money, the stuff that they own is worth more than you're throwing out. You're supposed to be helping the people get ahead, not turn the people down. Where's the help for the poor people? You put them in these houses, you lie to them, you tell them you're going to help fix these houses up, you're going to help them fix these houses up, and you don't do nothing but take the money, put them in a ragged ass house that it's going to take $100,000 to build up. And then they lose everything. They lose everything, and that's what y'all want. Y'all just want all of us down and out poor, ain't got nothing, but you lied. Some of you all just lied. And this is supposed to be the $200,000 house. I don't think so. Y'all done lost your damn minds. That's what you did. And look at this over here. I'm right behind you, honey. How you doing, Hi, darling. I don't know whether I should go through this ragged ass. <laughs> you know what, though? People laugh. It's some dangerous ass snakes over here. Yeah. Cause we call the damn water moccasin. A little more than moccasin, about a foot long. And I told the man, I say the thing looked like a damn rattlesnake. But when that old man went up there and looked, and he was from North Carolina. That was a rat. He said that was a water moccasin. Their cousin. Look. Oh my God. Oh, it's terrible back here. Yes, it stay terrible. And the city inspector don't make them come and get up shit. But then on the other hand, when you think about the rats, the possums, the raccoons, all of that wildlife is living right here. Mm -hmm. And they're going to take something to bite one of them children and fuck them up. This is the house that the bank owns. That one right here? Mm -hmm. This one right here. They can't sell this shit. That is crazy. It is. They can't sell it. And I told the people don't come around here and buy a damn thing. Because you fuck from the moment you sign the paper. They ain't going to keep it clean. You would buy a house and it would look just like this. They ain't coming through here and pick up nothing and clean nothing. Look at over here. This is crazy. This witch. I'll tell you one thing. That's a truck. I picked that up right there. That's a nice one. 
You know what would you do with a shit full of roaches? That's, that's I wouldn't crazy. take no. I don't take no shit up in my house with no bugs and shit. Well, I and see, that real good first. <laughs> yeah, you would have to. Well, if you got somebody with a truck, you might be able to get back there and get it before it get rained on, cause you know that's that particle board. Yeah. And once it gets wet, you, you can forget it. Yeah. Now see, this is my little house right here. I keep my shit cut up. See, she brought all this stuff from over there on her land and been throwing this shit in the alley for years. This is one of the nastiest bitches in the city. Section 8. Now fuck the whole place up. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Ten years she can live like shit. And they don't make that. You see how clean it is? Oh, yeah. See how clean I keep it? Uh -huh. I don't play. I don't be doing no playing. Because cleanliness is next to godliness. If you ain't there, look at all that. She done had that shit over there for 10 years, and it been worse. That's the cleanest of front back porch been since she moved over here. She from the projects, and that's how she have lived. They have turned out this whole Howland Park. She and all them niggas from the projects, and I ain't never seen nothing like it in my life. And you have a good one. I'm Teddy Perm community activists they fight me because I want to get the place like it do for white people yeah. but they don't want it like that let me give you this car watch out for that truck 